Hi guys, Mike here. Hope all of you are doing well. In today's video, we're going to talk about inflation. 7.5% year-over-year inflation numbers. What does this mean for you and how can you best prepare for inflation? My name is Michael Hernick. I have a YouTube channel called The Financial Mechanic. And in this channel, I talk about business, money, finance, the economy, stocks. Um, I have nothing to sell you. This channel is simply to provide you guys with as much financial education and my thoughts and value on the current market. So again, please subscribe, comment below. We'd love to hear from you and get your support uh, by clicking like and commenting. It does help the YouTube algorithm, so I appreciate your support. So what are four ways that you can prepare for inflation? Let's go one by one by one by one, okay? So firstly, inflation's at 7.5%, so this is top of mind. All of us are seeing this in the grocery stores with uh, uh, food prices, with uh, the prices at the pumps. Uh, we're all well aware that inflation is here and, 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 um, and here to stay. So what are the four reasons, or four ways, that, pardon me, of, of protecting against inflation? Number one is hard assets. What do I mean by that? And why are hard assets good inflation hedges? Well, ultimately, um, hard assets are bound to uh, increase in value and sort of be good inflation hedges as um, inflation persists, uh, mainly because the cost of inputs like materials and labors um, are increasing, which will inevitably cause uh, asset prices to rise. And uh, this is certainly true. So for those of you that own a home, <clears throat> um, definitely keep it. And that will definitely help you protect against inflation. For those of you that are renting and maybe are are thinking about buying a home, definitely, even though these housing, uh, the house prices right now are, are fairly ridiculous, um, it may be a good idea to sort of buy sooner rather than later because inflation is here and it's going to persist, okay? So as cost of materials and labor go up, so does the value of the uh, house, right? And, and that sort of makes sense. Um, other hard assets you can look at are things like furniture, equipment, vehicles, and other types of assets that um, are also going to go up in, in value. And this is certainly true and it's already happening. Um, we see things like hot tubs and <clears throat> vehicle used and new all going up um, and uh, sort of purchasing these hard assets uh, are a really good way to sort of protect um, against inflation, certainly. Number two is cash. You're like, okay, Mike, I thought cash is like the worst for inflation because the cash loses value. Well, that is true. The government has effectively guaranteed to the taxpayer all around the world inevitably that their purchasing power is going to decrease and uh, assuming the inflation rate is seven and a half percent the purchasing power and the cash will lose seven and a half percent of value every single year on a compounded basis so knowing what to do in inflationary environments is very important which is why i'm shooting this video but why is having cash and liquidity a good idea well this gives you so although Yes, cash loses value. It's an opportunity cost to have the purchasing power to take advantage of volatility. What do I mean by that? So I've shot a video on this about how I think that the stock market is going to keep pulling back because of rising interest rates and somewhat of this short-term deceleration in inflation. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but certainly put um, the ability to have cash to take advantage of stocks being on sale, of real estate being on sale and other assets is a really good way to take advantage of volatility. So having cash and liquidity uh, is really important and, and can really position you very well. The third one is commodities. What are commodities? So commodities are generally your inputs. So things like oil and gas, your agricultural commodities, gold and silver and other types of metals and so on, okay? So ultimately, these commodities generally do very, very well in an inflationary environment because as we need these commodities to actually uh, sort of live our daily lives and, and sort of create goods and services, these do very, very well. Uh, for instance, oil prices hit $105 per barrel. Guys, oil is going to keep going up. Uh, so it, anticipate higher gas prices at the pump. Uh, and this is just going to continue happening, uh, at least in the short term, Okay. So uh, how can you? So how do you get positioned in commodities? Well, there's lots of different ways. One way that a lot of people like to do it is through stocks and ETFs. So you can buy uh, stocks of different mining and producing companies. So maybe an oil and gas producer, or agricultural producer, or you know a gold or silver mining company. Um, even on the gold and silver side, you may want to consider physical gold and silver. So your bullion. 
uh, as more of an insurance. So there's lots of different things that you can do to sort of hedge inflation on the commodity side, uh, simply because commodities do really well in inflationary environments. The fourth one is actually the forecasting of your purchases. So this kind of ties into the first one, but one thing that you can really do to protect against inflation is look at what purchases are you thinking of making over the next you know, two, three, four, five, six months out. And can you purchase them today rather than waiting until prices may rise, which inevitably the probability of that happening is greater than, uh, than, it, it, than it is to not go up. So for instance, um, stock up on some groceries and food. Uh, if you're thinking of buying a vehicle or you're thinking of buying something, some kind of piece of equipment or just whatever, these prices are gonna go up. Now is a good time to start thinking about, okay, if I'm gonna make this purchase anyway, I should buy it now rather than later because prices are gonna continue going up uh, and this is one thing to, to uh, sort of, uh, a good way to protect against inflation. So those are my four ways that I sort of uh, consider um, protecting against inflation that I think you should consider. So comment below, do you guys agree with these four ways? Do you think that these four ways are good ways to protect against inflation? Do you guys have other ways that you can share with others? that are subscribed to this channel on that. Um, again, please subscribe, click like below, uh, comment on what your thoughts are. I would love to get your support and feedback. Again, I have nothing to sell you guys. This channel is all about uh, business, finance, the economy, money, and stocks, and so on. So uh, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll do another video here shortly, and uh, look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Take care.